focus. Focus. All right, before we start this video, um, make sure you're subscribed. If you're not already, go subscribe, turn on post notifications, and also click the link in my bio. It's the first link, josiahstewart.com. Click the link, sign up for my weekly programs, and you'll get uh, weekly workout programs for free. It's lit. What's up guys, Aesthetics here, back with another video, and as you can tell by the title, um, I'm going to be sharing with you guys what I think is the best ab workout ever. Now let me give you guys a nice little tip before I tell you this, or reveal the secret. Um, if your body fat percentage is not low enough, you will not see your abs no matter how many workouts for abs you do. Um, that's just a fact, so that saying abs are made in the kitchen is definitely true so if your nutrition your meals your diet isn't good enough your body fat percentage is not low enough you will not see abs no matter what you'll still build abs but you won't be able to see them so let me get right into this right um so what i think is like the best way you can ever get abs i do it all the time um you just have to use this one tool the tools it's like what 10 15 dollars you can probably find it online target something like that but that tool is this little guy right here if you guys don't know what this is, it is an ab roller. Um, obviously, they come in different sizes, different, I was about to say shapes, but no, they're all basically the same shape. But um, basically what it is, is two handles on the side and a roller. Either it's two rollers or one big roller, depending on which kind you get. Um, they all work the same. But um, yeah, the reason why I think this is like the absolute best ab workout or anything you could do for abs is simply for the fact that it combines planks with crunches in my opinion and it's working your whole abs as well as your lats and everything like that as you can see here in this video um all you have to do is really roll yourself out go straight out um keep your body straight don't arch your back don't hyper extend your back either and just let yourself go almost parallel to the ground then bring yourself back up now there are multiple ways you can do it but this one right here is um kind of like a beginner way to do it where you can go up against the wall which the wall will kind of stop you from being able to go too far out where you won't be able to come back up. So I highly recommend this if you've never done it before. Just find yourself a wall, get a mat or a towel to put under your knees because it might hurt on the bed floor. And just get up to a wall, depending how good you are. Um, that's how far away I'd go away from the wall, but I'd start close to the wall, then move back as you feel yourself getting more comfortable with the movement. Then once you get into that um, where you don't need the wall anymore, then obviously you'll come right into this, which is basically just going straight out and back out and back and um i usually in my opinion i um tend to stick between 10 15 reps somewhere around there sometimes i go higher sometimes i go lower depending on what kind i'm doing um and like i said there are multiple different ways to do this right now i've i do this so many times so i'm at the point where i can do it like this which is basically i just go out and I count down really fast from 15, so I do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, then come back up, then count really fast to 14, then 13, 12, 11, 10, till I get to zero. Um, and I would usually do f around four sets of that, but like I said, it's different for everybody. You might not be at that level. You might be past me, I don't know, and that's where this part comes in. The little standing one, um, I can only do one of these because I've never done it before. I really, um, someone actually told me about it, and I was like, let me give that a try for the video. And I did it, and as you can see, I definitely struggled it was um i don't know it was cool but it's, it takes a lot of control i was surprised i was actually able to do it but you know i couldn't fail for the video so i had to do it um so yeah that's my little tip or my little secret tool for abs i really do that all the time now just because it's so convenient um so easy all you really need you can do it at home you can do it at the gym wherever you want to do it all you need to have is that little ab roller thing it's really cheap um nothing special so yeah, if you guys enjoyed that video, if you got anything out of it, make sure you drop a like and a comment down below. If you're not already, make sure you're subscribed. I don't know why you wouldn't be subscribed. And I also don't know why you wouldn't have all my post notifications because I'm always posting. I'm not always posting. I post enough. And you don't want to miss when I post as my videos be bangers. All of them just straight bangers. So I'm going to stop talking your ear off. Um, enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out the link in my bio to my website. Sign up for the free workout programs that come out every week so sign up for them they're lit and um yeah see you guys out